Without the ocean, there is no life. While Bill was developing business cases for Vancouver Island, he learned that seaweed was going to change the world. After an hour on the phone with one of Canada's most knowledgeable seaweed experts, Bill's entrepreneurial spirit was sparked, not because he needed a new project, but because of the positive social, environmental, and economic benefits this budding sector offered. Seaweed farming helps feed our growing populations, helps revitalize coastal communities, and reverses human impact on the oceans. Only 2% of our global food production comes from the ocean, but oceans cover 70% of our planet. Seems like a no-brainer to me. It is Seaweed Days number five. I can't believe it. How fast has the time gone? We are here at the Shaw Centre for the Salish Sea and we've picked a really fun book for day number five. You'll see some fish over my shoulder. They're having so much fun. There's some kelp and some seaweed. Keep an eye out for them. They might be doing some fun tricks as they swim on by. Tonight we're reading something that you might think, hmm, I learned about the ABCs in school, but tonight we're learning something really special. The West Coast ABCs. This is a fun book because it talks all about what we have here in British Columbia. The West Coast ABCs. A is for ahoy, away we go. B is for boats floating under the bridge. C is for Cathedral Grove. Climb the taller cedar tree. D is for dolphin. E is for eagle eyes watching fish fly. And G is for grouse mountain, where you can glide down groomed hills. J is for Wanda Fuca Strait. I spy jellyfish inside. K is for kayaking to lighthouse on Langara Island. M is for Maine Islands. Mermaids make seaweed braids. N is for nose that can spell can smell storms. O is for orca that plays with an octopus. P is for paddle, past porpoises. Q is for quail and R is for raven. You ever seen a quail? S is for seal and T is for tides. They bring in treasure. You can play in those tide pools. Those are so much fun. U is for umbrella because sometimes we need to stay out of the rain. This one's in eucumit. V is for voles. Look at all of those voles. Sometimes you can see them in Victoria. W is for whale. We watch for whale tails. X, it's exciting to explore. Y is for young wolf yawns. Sometimes you can hear them if you're really quiet and you're camping. Z is for zodiac as it zigs through the waves. And that's the end of the West Coast ABC book. That's one of our favorite books because we get to learn about things that are right in our own backyard, like these fish. All right, night number six is tomorrow and we're so excited because we get to learn more about ocean life. All right, see you then.